Hey and welcome back to The Wealthy Walker. My name is Tom and this channel is pretty much me walking, talking, all things investments, whether that be crypto or the stock market. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, of course, hit that subscribe button. Your support will be much appreciated. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about the post office and how they're gonna be dealing with cryptocurrencies moving forward through their app and some of their stores. Sounds pretty exciting for us Brits. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Oh my God, I'm getting absolutely battered with hailstone. Okay guys, so <laughs> just gonna be straight up honest with you. I did not see this story coming. Let's be real, the post office is like a traditional business. It's also a struggling, failing business right now. And yeah, you're gonna see a lot more post offices close over the years to come. Saying that, them investing in cryptocurrencies or working with a cryptocurrency exchange, to me is a good sign. It's a sign that they're trying to get with the times. And I'll sort of share my thoughts at the end of this video as to what I think of this move by a post office. So what is the deal? The deal enables verified users of the post office's app, Easy ID, to click through to Swan's website where they can purchase vouchers that can be redeemed for cryptocurrencies. So yeah, it's pretty cool really. It's allowing people to use the post office application to get access to Bitcoin and Ethereum vouchers. I think what's important with this deal is the post office isn't actually earning a commission from any sales that they make of these vouchers. Instead, they've obviously took a heavy investment from Swarm Markets, and so the risk is really on Swarm Markets. My first impression is, do people really need to use the post office to get Bitcoin and Ethereum? Maybe not, but on the flip side, you know, people do trust the post office, and with lots of young people wanting cryptocurrencies, possibly even for Christmas, for birthdays. This will enable the older generations to potentially use the post office to get vouchers for their loved ones in their favorite cryptocurrencies. It's just an idea, but yeah, I can see that happening. Of course, you've got all the FUD being put out there right now, all the fear, uncertainty and doubt. And this is coming from politicians, at big British newspapers, companies, and they're all basically saying that this is super risky for the post office and it's harming their brand. But do you know what else is harming their brand? The fact that they're going out of business. So for me, this is them clearly trying to diversify and it's a pretty good opportunity for Swarm Markets to put their stamp on the British market as well. Now with cryptocurrencies, there's lots of problems with KYC, know your customer, and Swarm Markets have pretty much jumped all over this by selling these vouchers through the Easy ID application with the post office, which is obviously where people get their ID, their verification from. So yes, the post office know their customer and that's a big tick for Swarm Markets, keeping those regulators happy. Will it work? Only time will tell. Even with the politicians and the huge newspaper articles that are out there trying to put, trying to talk down this uh, decision by the post office, whether they talk or not, crypto is here. It may seem risky to the general public, but it's becoming more and more accepted. This is certainly helped by big sponsorship deals with you know, uh, sports events, sports teams, and over time, it's gonna just become normal. Everyone's gonna hold digital currency. You know, crypto isn't going anywhere. And if anything, you can praise the post office by being an early adopter because we are still early with this journey. I think for me, the biggest risk here is with Swarm Markets because they aren't well known here in the UK. They are up against huge centralized uh, exchanges like Coinbase and Binance. And there's less talk of people really wanting true decentralized exchanges like Swarm Markets. But uh, I can certainly see why now is a good time for them to do this. A, because Binance is having some huge regulation issues right now. They've stopped deposits from the UK as of this date, which is like, you know, August, September 2021. And at the same time, 
Coinbase are just starting to go through some huge battles with the SEC in America over their lending and staking feature. So if ever there's a good time to get into the British market with your exchange, now is as good a time as any. Will I be using this service with Swarm and the post office? Probably not, just because I have my own digital wallets, I use other exchanges, but who's to say, you know, in the future, I may need to get some vouchers and it's nice to know that the post office is dealing with cryptocurrencies. So best of luck to the post office and Swarm Markets. Let's see how this goes. So that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. Of course, do let me know in the comments what you think of this deal between Swarm Markets and the post office. Is this good for the post office? Is it going to harm their brand? What are the risks to this deal going down? Or do you just think that the politicians, the newspapers are trying to spread FUD? Trying to put fear in the general public's minds about the post office doing this? It would be really good to hear your feedback. Thanks for watching and we will see you on the next walk.